Hi, this is a very quick video on how to install Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri on a modern Windows 10 PC in 2020. Uh, first of all, the CD is probably not going to work. I think the CD is over 20 years old. Uh, if there's a way to install the CD on modern Windows, I don't know. Uh, the CD copy protection messes up uh, uh, on modern Windows systems these days. But I went to GOG.com and uh, I downloaded it from here. As you can see, it's on sale for under two bucks US right now. Well, this is by the time you see this, it probably won't be anymore. But it looks like it regularly sells for $5.99 US. I'm in Texas, so I don't know if this changes based on your region or what. But a uh, relatively really cheap game. Um, for, I mean, 20 plus years after the fact. Uh, but I had a little trouble getting it working. Um, not a lot. But uh, I'll run through that real quick. So there's two executables there's Alpha Centauri and then Alpha Sid Meier's Alien Crossfire, which is sort of an add on pack. Um, I haven't tried this Alien Crossfire ever, uh, but it's included with that GOG.com download. Uh, now, when I first downloaded it, I double clicked this, it, it made me install Direct Play, and I had to reboot. Thanks, Windows. Uh, and after that, I would double click this, and the game would not appear to do anything. So it turns out you need to go, even with a GOG version, into your install folder. For me, it's uh, F GOG Games, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, and there's an Alpha Centauri. Any. If you go in here, well, I've got. Here's what it looks like when you first install it. Except, I added this part. Um, can I make this bigger? Hey, how about that? So. Basically, this was a blank, and I had to add direct draw equals zero. And I think the capitalization is important. So direct draw, no spaces equals zero. Uh, after that, I was able to start the game, and the video even played. And it, you know, the, the game when it finally got to the game was a native resolution. The video that plays was um, it looked big on my screen, but I was recording it, and it's actually a smaller resolution. But uh, anyway. If you're installing from CD, if you figure out a way to do that, I'm pretty sure you have to set this in the install. Now this was this was already set when I installed from GOG.com, but if you installed the CD version, I'm pretty sure in any PC you had manufactured for the past 20 plus years, you have to add this uh, to make that work. So anyway, that's my quick note, and uh, that's how you get it working.